the Highlands and Islands. Update. With the latest, I'm Andrew Thompson. The planned closure of fish processing facilities on the Isle of Lewis with the loss of around 80 jobs is part of a wider trend in the industry, according to a Highland economist. Backafrost announced yesterday that it's consulting with staff about closing its fish processing plant in Maryborough and its harvesting facility at Arnish for an extended period. The company says the move is needed to future-proof the business, but local politicians say the loss of so many jobs in the Stornoway area will be devastating. Highland economist Tony Mackay says there's been a trend in the fish farming industry towards closing down smaller processing plants. The fishing industry and the fish processing industry in Scotland have had a few bad years and uh, what the bigger companies that have had a few fish processing plants have done is close the ones in the more rural areas like the Western Isles. It's huge. I mean, we're talking about, you know, 80 jobs lost which is an, an enormous number for the you know, local economy. Meanwhile, retail jobs in Inverness and Elgin are at risk at the company Carpet Right. The firm, which employs around 1,800 people across the UK, is on the brink of collapse. It's filed a notice of intention to appoint administrators while it works to secure extra funding. Carpet Right has 272 stores, including one in Inverness and another in Elgin. They'll remain open for the time being. Islanders on Barra have launched a fundraising drive to help replace a statue of the saint who gives the island its name. The iconic sculpture of Saint Barr looking up to the heavens with a shepherd's crook in his hand is in danger of being lost to the sea. It was designed by the late local artist Margaret Somerville and erected in the mid-1970s. The target for the fundraising drive to replace the sculpture is £100,000. And final preparations are underway ahead of the City of Inverness Highland Games. The event, which is being held at Buck Park tomorrow, includes Highland dancing and strongmen and strong women competitions, as well as piping, athletics, a market area and a big top Cayley tent. Europe's strongest man, Luke Stoltman, will be making an appearance. This is a really big event, but I believe we should be doing more stuff like this in the Highlands. The Highlands for me is the most beautiful, amazing place in the world. And getting to showcase the beauty, the rawness, the energy of the people, the passion of the people, the beauty of Inverness itself. I think that's what we need to do more of. And that's your BBC News for the Highlands and Islands.